This, my friends, is the ballad of Otis Porkmeyer. Otis Porkmeyer was the man who couldn't laugh or smile, grumping us in despair were Porkmeyer's daily style. Everyone wondered why. Did he swallow something sour? Were his boxers way too tight? Or maybe it's because he never took a shower. Did he really dislike fun? Man, what a party pooper. What on earth could it be to put Otis in this stupor? Somewhere, somehow, it must just be that his imagination had died. He had forgotten how to dream. He had become all dignified. He once would wiggle. He loved to giggle. He'd shout and run and play. But then they'd say to him, Hush, sit still. Don't do that. You must just stay. They told him one too many times that he was good for nothing. He never knew or realized that we're all custom made for something. They told him that he should be concerned with just reality. Be practical, conform, and then avoid unconventionality. Otis listened to those voices. He let them affect his choices. He believed what the masses said, and gradually his dreams were dead. So now he lives with zero hope. He only leaves his home room for soap. He's learned a life without a dream is a lot like Brussels sprout ice cream. So my friend, don't be a pork mire. Hang with people who encourage and inspire. Avoid dream killers and hope stealers, the negative sorrow dealers. Don't use words like wouldn't, couldn't, never, cannot, will not, shouldn't. Find the ones that spread the hope. Use words such as, as would, could, and should. Remember always to dream and hope and take time to play. Be sure to laugh and wiggle and giggle a little bit each day.